Today we will be discussing the differences between vascular versus non-vascular plants. The main difference between vascular plants and non-vascular plants is that vascular plants have leaves, roots, and stems. Vascular plants also have vascular tissue like xylem and phloem, which allow them to grow really tall. These vascular bundles are found in the stems of the plants. Xylem transports water from the roots to the rest of the plant, while phloem transports food made in the leaves to the rest of the plant. Vascular plants include trees and shrubs, basically any plant with leaves, stems, and roots. On the other hand, non-vascular plants do not have leaves, stems, and roots. They also do not have xylem and phloem. Because non-vascular plants have no vascular tissue, aka xylem and phloem, to transport water and food, they must grow close to the ground and in moist environments so they can absorb the water directly into their cells. Vascular plants can either have seeds or be seedless. Seedless vascular plants reproduce using spores instead of seeds. Spores are much smaller. Examples of seedless vascular plants include ferns and horsetails. Vascular plants that have seeds can either be gymnosperms, which are cone-bearing plants, or angiosperms, which are flowering plants. Gymnosperm seeds are naked or unprotected and are found in female cones. Another type of vascular plant that reproduces using seeds are known as angiosperms, and those seeds are protected by flowers and or fruit. There are two types of angiosperms, monocotyledon or monocots, and dicotyledons or dicots. Let's look at some of the differences between the two. Remember, mono means one cotyledon, or one food storage area for the seed, while di means two cotyledons, or two food storage areas for the seed, as illustrated in the picture. If we were to look at a cross-section of the stems of both plants, monocots have vascular bundles, aka xylem and phloem, in a scattered arrangement, while dicots vascular bundles are arranged in rings. The petals on a monocot are found in multiples of three, while the petals on a dicot are in multiples of four or five. The leaves of a monocot have parallel veins, while the leaves of a dicot have netted or branching veins. Another distinguishing feature of monocots and dicots is that monocots have fibrous roots, or many roots, while dicots have tap roots, or one main root with smaller roots branching off.